with my organization, I do a whole lot of things. Um, I, have a, I have the orphanage, I have a sports program for young people. Um, I do a lot of HIV counseling, I train, I've trained so many health professionals. And the main aim of this organization is to bridge the developmental gap between the less endowed community and people and the richer ones. This is one of the poorest districts in Ghana and they have so much great of medical needs. Some of the clinics, if you go there, you just see four cornered room. There was nothing. There was absolutely nothing there. I can't afford to be buying this. Thing. So having them here, taking them back, is really going to benefit the people that I serve. I have this iodine thing here. I'm going back with so excited. Gloves. Um, maybe to you, it's nothing, but very big deal for me. Thermometer, yeah, this is very cool. I've, I, I've actually not seen this type before, so this is something new. I have bandages, I have this set as well. So excited about it. <laughs> I'm glad I actually found Medwish. Personally, I didn't know where I was going to get all these things for free. So working with Medwish to actually save my people at the grassroots, and um, also even fill the hospitals and the clinics. I think it's, it's a very big and great deal to work with Medwish. So um, whoever has the means to help Medwish, I think it's in the right course. They are really, really trying to see, helping to save thousands of lives in the developing world. Like um, apart from my district, I know Medwish is helping, also working in the northern part of Ghana. And I know the type of equipment they actually put in those hospitals and those clinics. And those in those places are so grateful. So on behalf of all the all Ghanaians, all the people in Ghana, I will say a very big thank you to Medwish for saving lives of those um, who don't really, um, without Medwish, could have never lived.